Hello my friends, this is Moses Hernandez with Above and Beyond Home Inspection coming to you live from a roof here on the north east side and I just wanted to show you guys a few things since I'm up here I think this would be a really great learning opportunity so I'm gonna go ahead and flip the camera around now and to and actually show you what I found a few things we come right here and we notice that some of the shingles were sealed with tar now tar can be used to seal up maybe some nail heads and some flashing things like that but you really don't want to have any contact with shingles it actually can actually um, deteriorate the shingle over time but as you can see the shingles are a little bit damaged now we're gonna go this way and usually that's a red flag when I see tar on the roof we go to right here let's look at these vents right here it could be a flu vent but a lot of times that one is a uh, the one in the middle is for ventilation in the attic space these other two typically could be either for maybe a dryer vent or um, maybe to a water heater, a gas power water heater, so maybe something like that. But if you actually look, there's tar around the vents right here. What you, it's an improper repair when, if you have to use tar because the flashing or the metal flashing that goes around these should be enough if they're installed correctly. So again, over here, we look at another vent stack usually to maybe the bathroom or something like that and you see tar again which these areas are very prone to leaks but I did notice one thing and this can look kind of gross we find some scat or poop as we like to call it so reason why that's important is because you have this tree here and look at the way it actually comes onto this roof now when you have trees that overhang over your roof like this you're inviting vermin to get into your attic space and it could typically be maybe like a squirrel or possum so if you actually notice okay there's a scat and i'm going to show you something i'm going to show you something that it sends off a red flag in my head anytime i see this so here i'm going to show you some shingles and it's always on the ridge for some reason you see this damage and you start seeing like kind of like these scratch marks on the shingles especially right here what that tells me is that the vermin is actually trying to get into the roof and anytime I see it when I get into the attic space I'm typically gonna find some sort of like nest or more scat in the attic space right so um, I always you know keep that in mind when I'm on top of a roof and I see that I know I'm gonna find something in the attic space so going on oh, we're almost done here this, you know the different colored shingles right so that tells me there was previous or prior repairs maybe to um you know cover up a leak that might have happened in the home and again right here improper repair was done you know using tar and the flashing's not sitting correctly it should it should be laying flat but over here we have, you know, a different kind of shingle. This is actually like, kind of like a 3D shingle, architectural shingle that they actually use with the three tab. So it doesn't match. But just wanted to show you this. This is actually very loose. Could literally almost come up. So you don't want to be seeing that, you know. It could, it's very vulnerable to, you know, leaks in the attic space. But last thing I wanted to show you guys what is this the the tree and typically when i see this and it's actually touching the roof i think oh my god these shingles are probably going to be damaged because the trees actually rub up against the roof and damage the roof prematurely so there's some damage right there i think you could see the damage right there and uh, look at what i'm finding and i'm actually seeing this for the first time myself too so i'm lifting these branches and trying to see what i can find and Let's see here. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. The camera's moving. So you see some damage right there as well. So this tree definitely needs to be cut back. <sighs> definitely needs to be cut back so that it doesn't create more damage. And maybe some of these shingles do have to be replaced. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. And thanks for hearing me out. This is Moses Hernandez again with Above and Beyond Home Inspections.